A former Border Patrol agent is sending a message to the president ahead of his visit to the border next week. Joshua Willie is warning about toxic sewage spills coming from Mexico after he contracted flesh-eating bacteria from contaminated water during training. CBS News 8's Heather Hope is live in Imperial Beach tonight with his story and more on the dangers from decades of sewage spills. Heather? Willie's still dealing with the painful effects of that flesh-eating bacteria he got eight years ago during the contaminated waters that he had to train in during a work exercise. He says that gave him surgeries as well as intense pain so bad that during the president's visit, he hopes he goes beyond just the border wall prototype and look into the contaminated water issue. It had spread throughout this whole arm up, up in my neck. 40-year-old former Border Patrol agent Joshua Willey recalls the frightful day when his arm ballooned to the size of a volleyball. And the skin was was uh, stretched to the point where it was shiny, and it seemed, it, was about, it seemed like it was going to pop. This was April 2010 when he contracted flesh-eating bacteria during training exercises at Naval Amphibious Base Coronado along the Silver Strand in contaminated water after heavy rain. Getting in and out of the ocean as well as a lot of other ground PT in the sand. Willie had type A strep, necrotizing fasciitis, which led to his permanent federal disability. It's a, it's a horrible situation. At the Tijuana Estuary Visitor Center in Imperial Beach, he joined with Citizens Against Sewage. Just since January 1 of this year, 1.8 billion gallons of effluent have flowed through this river valley. Enough's enough. The governor needs to step up to the plate, EPA and IB, IBWC, because this, this is unacceptable. With decades of sewage spill setbacks from Mexico into San Diego County beaches, leaders want change from California politicians. They may have concerns about building a fence, but why don't they look at the existing health threat that almost killed this man? Ahead of President Trump's border wall prototype visit, this group's message is clear. President Trump, we need your help. Willie now lives in Oceanside, but he says that since he grew up in the in the South Bay here, he will never come back down here to serve due to the continued contaminated water issue. Carlo.